note that down as one inflation. How's it going everyone? Good to see you. Whew, it's been a busy few days. I got back from Scotland yesterday after a bit of paddling practice with uh, a lot of the team that we're going to be doing our great Glen Canoe Challenge with, which was just brilliant and gave me a lot of confidence because uh, I don't think my paddling was actually too bad. <laughs> and we did a great wild camp, made a video, so that'll be coming out soon. And today it's been a great pleasure, but a long day of packing up all the giveaways that uh, I announced the winners of in the last video. Still got two people that haven't come up and claimed their prizes yet. So uh, if you are watching, take a look at the last video and see if you're included in the winners. Well, I don't do that many review videos. In fact, I think I've done one dedicated where I um, did the scarp tent against the Nordisk tent and then had a little look at the Flextail gear pump as well. I'll only do a review if it's something that I think I may use if, if it turns out to be any good. So this time I'm going to look at the new pump from Flextail Gear. They've just sent it to me. It's not actually uh, out in the shops yet, but I'm uh, assured that when this video actually goes to uh, press, as it were, that um, I'm going to be able to put a link in to uh, get it. But it's the Flextail Gear Max Pump 2 Pro. I've been really pleased with this one so far. Um, I only go out for one, maybe two nights uh, in a row, and it's been really good for um, just looking after me and uh, pumping up my uh, air mats um, that I sleep on. Um, it's also a lantern as well. It's got an inflate and deflate uh, mode charged by USB-C and a nice little handle on the top too and I've been really pleased with it but I haven't ever given it a bit of a run for its money to see how many um, air beds mattresses for instance it could pump up if I went away with um, my family or if I went on a multi-day trip so that's uh, quite interesting so this new pump is actually a little bit bigger sort of more beefy in the power that it provides and I'm going to do an unboxing and look at it. So here we are, comes in a nice box, it says the Max Pump 2 Pro, it's a 4 in 1 ultimate outdoor pump. It's got all the specifications on the back that I'll go through in a little bit more detail with you, but let's take a look inside. Got some instructions, the do's and don'ts, how to use it, and also uh, the specifications on the back. And in here, much like the the last one, you've got the same sort of bits included. You've obviously got the pump, which is noticeably bigger than the uh, last one, but as I said, it's um, advertised as being a lot more powerful, a lot more flexible than the other one. Got a set of nozzles, uh, that to blow up sort of, uh, uh, for instance, I could, uh, <laughs> my daughter's got a blow up uh, unicorn that she takes in the paddling pool, that sort of thing, where you need to get sort of right deep into those um, type of inflation points. And it's got a mixture of different nozzles here, all of which can be used in, oh, I can't think, but just a huge amount of different um, types of uh, inflatables. It's a USB-C type charging point, which uh, I very much like. And you get the usual little carrying pouch with it. So let's take a little look at the pump itself. Yep, it's noticeably bigger if I put it next to the other one here and if I just show you now a cutaway to a uh, <laughs> common household object which gives you an idea of the uh, size comparison it's got a light very much like its predecessor and the light is turned on by two presses on this sort of dual mode switch it's got the light and also the pump 
signs on it and two presses on the light we'll turn that on and instead of single presses to change the brightness this has actually got a dimmer capability so if I keep my finger on the light switch it gradually goes down or up or off <laughs> and there you are so I quite like that once you get the hang of it you can actually use it and get the light exactly how you want it and nice and dim there so moving back to this dual mode switch here we've got the fan symbol here for inflation and deflation and the big difference here is the size of the hole here that's much better and it fits the attachments a lot more snugly and firmer than uh, the tiny pump x and they just go on nicely like that if i show you the tiny pump x now that's the inflation port and i found that it was just a bit fiddly and this kept coming off um, whilst i was uh, inflating the sleep mats and so on so i ended up pumping up the sleep mats always holding it like that which was a bit of a pain when you wanted to maybe be doing something else so this already feels to grip that um, a lot better and likewise it just interchanges so that you can pop that on there and use this as a deflation and people might say why have a, a deflation mode on it well it's really good because you can sort of reverse vacuum and <laughs> pack your uh, sleeping mat and get it into uh, the bag that it came from which is always a little bit of a difficult task <laughs> at the end of a camp trying to get things back in the bags that uh, you got them out of so yeah i'll turn it on briefly but um uh, you'll get more of an idea when i put it into uh, practice and start blowing up a few mats with it but two presses um, and two presses off just like uh, the last one and it's also got this handle here which is great for suspending it when using it as a light not not all tents have got little hooks some have got little sort of uh, loops of material and what i do is i've got this tiny little aluminium carabiner here which weighs uh, two and a half grams so it's negligible and i just keep it on like that so a few technical specifications between these two the original tiny pump x is 80 grams whereas the pro is 160. the x gives out 180 liters a minute whilst the pro is 300. the charge time for this is two and a half hours the pro is six hours they're saying we have 15 minutes endurance on this and it takes about two minutes to charge up the average uh, sleep mat so that's ooh, about just under eight full inflations so it'll be interesting because the figure isn't published um, yet of how long we should get out of this but when i try it out we'll um, use it from fully charged and just keep pumping up air beds until it runs out and that will give us an idea battery capacity 1300 milliamp hours for the little one 3600 here for the pro in the new one not only is there the usb charger but usb c charger point but under that we've got a regular usb port so it can be used to charge up your phone or maybe some of your batteries good morning everyone and welcome back well i left the max pump pro charging overnight and uh, the indicator went green pretty early on actually and so i've disconnected that and i'm now ready to put it through its paces and pump up a few of these sleeping mats now i've decided to use two but i've chosen two real sort of high demand uh, sleeping mats and one is the Trekology LF 140 which is pretty thick pretty long takes a lot of air and also the Xbed Sinmat 7 it's the long one and, and again this takes quite a lot of pumping up as well so what I'm going to do is pump them both up I'll set a timer first of all to see how long each one takes to pump up and then what I'm going to do is just 
deflate one, pump it up, and whilst that's pumping up, deflate the other and just alternate, be alternate between the two until the pump gives up. Now I'll film this and I'll try and make a note of how many pumps <laughs> it gives and also start the stopwatch on my, uh, excuse me, on my uh, phone. But the main thing is, I think, to see how many of these sleeping pads I can actually get pumped up on one charge with the new pump. Thank you. Well, I'm a little bit sort of hot and out of breath here. Um, it, it started raining as well, so I've retired inside. Um, so it was uh, the rain that stopped me in the end, not the pump actually, um, although the pump was just starting to slow down a little bit. But my word, I am <laughs> pretty amazed at the performance of that uh, new pump. Let's bear in mind that the two mats that I was pumping up were real high demand ones especially the trekology the trekology one hasn't got many baffles in it so it's just pure air whereas sort of thermarest and so on have got this honeycomb structure which uh, reduces the amount of air you've got to put in um, the pro pump the latest one the slightly bigger one i can't believe it 41 inflations and that's uh, 11 on one t uh, sorry 21 on one 20 on the other i can't remember which one got the extra um <laughs> the one but that's amazing 41 inflations on one charge wow <laughs> i didn't try it in conjunction with the lantern or using it as a phone charger um I would say half that maybe if you're going to use it with the lantern it is led so it's not going to use up that much power but to be frank um i don't think i'd use it as a lantern I, i've got a little lantern bulb that i use in my tent um, it's good for to have it though in an emergency and i certainly don't think i'd use it as a phone charger because i've always got some sort of a power pack with me as well so Another thing I did, although this is, this is a review on the new pump, is I think it's good to compare the inflation um, against the old Tiny Pump X. Well, I say old, I've only had it uh, a few months. So I charged the Tiny Pump X up to full charge and I started doing exactly the same as I, I did in the previous inflations. And the figure I came to was 12 and a half inflation. So that's a uh, 12 nights plus an uh, <laughs> uncomfortable night for a solo camper. So let's have a think about the conclusion. Well, I filmed what I thought was a really good conclusion last night, but then realised it wasn't filming for some reason. So I've had to go to the linen basket, <laughs> get this t-shirt out for some sort of continuity. Anyway, this new it's the flex tail gear max pump pro 2 really impressed with it the things i particularly like about it are well you can get nearly four times as many air mats pumped up with it which is phenomenal to say it's only twice the liters per minute on the spec is not bad really because it's done nearly four times the job of its uh, predecessor i really like the size of the inflation nozzle and that means that the adapters fit a lot more securely and that you can actually leave it for a couple of minutes, do something else while you're pumping up your airbed. It's got a really controllable light on it. I particularly like the dimming mode that you've got. 
and I've used it briefly as a phone charger and whereas I said a little bit earlier that it's possibly a bit of a gimmick well no it's not because you know it, if anything it's a safety feature if your phone runs out then you can give it a little bit of extra juice and uh, get that essential call in so that's a really good feature of it actually the only downside I can really find with it is obviously the size and the weight it's pretty much double the size double the weight but when you're only talking about 160 grams and something still smaller than well not smaller about the same size as a lemon and that's not a giant lemon that's a normal size lemon then it's really not going to take up any space so yeah I think it is a superb bit of kit so if I had to choose between the two of these then it would be tough but the answer is they, they both suit slightly different situations. The Tiny Pump X, the original, is, is just brilliant. You know, I tend to go out on my own for maximum two, three nights, usually just one night. And with this having the capability to blow up, what was it, 12 and a half uh, full inflations on some pretty high demand uh, sleep pads, it's really, really good. It doesn't have the phone charger, but it's still got the... Um, three brightness light on it and I think this is still a really really good bit of kit. This is really excellent. It will suit um, multi-day camping for a family for instance. Um, you could blow up four red beds you know for, for a week plus um, and also you got the phone charger and the really more controllable light so excellent as well so yeah both of them are excellent it just depends on what you're going to be uh, doing and how many people you're going to be camping with and how long you're going for so that's the end of the review i hope you found it useful i do now know that the pro the new one is on the market i should put all the details uh, below with also a discount code will be coming up thanks very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you again